The term Maryland bridge refers to a fixed prosthesis which cannot be removed from the mouth. What makes this bridge special is that the surrounding teeth do not need to be sanded. The metallic grips are affixed to the insides of the surrounding teeth. The picture shows a metallic Maryland bridge on a plaster cast. The teeth are ceramic, and the metal grips are placed in such a way as not to disturb chewing and not be visible from the outside. The picture shows a patient who has undergone successful periodontitis treatment. The gums are a pale pink and free from infection, except for the two incisors on the upper left. The livid bluish discoloration of the gums is obvious. Because of the depth of the gum pocket, these teeth had to be removed. After the wound heals, a bone repair operation with subsequent implantation is planned. The Maryland bridge is test fitted immediately after tooth extraction. Light pressure is applied to get the bridge into position. The patient may feel some stress on the surrounding teeth for a while. The metallic grips should not interfere when chewing. This should be checked before gluing. A special plastic is then used to set the bridge in the mouth, and the patient should also be able to bite down without any problems. After successful treatment, the gap should no longer be visible, and the wound should be able to heal without any aesthetic detriment to the patient. The patient should get used to the metallic grips on the insides of the teeth within a matter of hours, and can look forward to bone repair followed by successful implantation. Maryland bridges are not as stable as real bridges, and are thus mainly used as a high-class interim solution. Maryland bridges may consist of a metal core, as shown in the film, or be entirely ceramic, as shown in the picture on the left.